Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a restriction on the nuclease and RU1 cuts DNA at the sequence as follows. If you digest total genomic DNA from a caterpillar with an RU1, what is the average length of the DNA molecules that you can expect to obtain? How we are going to solve this problem? Take a look. Imagine that each empty box here is going to represent one of the nucleotides in this six base sequence. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is DNA strand. And we have total number of bases four, which is thymine, guanine, cytosine, and adenine. So by random chance, if we'll take one position on the DNA, what is the chance are going to be that this is going to be thymine. And you will say that it's going to be one quarter because it can be thymine, it can be guanine, cytosine or adenine for basis total. So probability that this is going to be a thymine is going to be one out of four bases. Now take a look. What is the probability that the second base is going to be cytosine. Again, one out of four bases. We have infinite supply of the bases. Third is guanine. It's also probability would be one quarter. And then cytosine, one quarter. And then guanine again, one quarter. Adenine also is going to be one quarter. Now we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and we are going to get probability that if we'll take a random sequence, uh, the probability that we will find this particular sequence is going to be 1 out of 4096. And this is going to be our answer. And some of you might think this is just one strand of the DNA. But DNA is double stranded and we're also going to get on the other strand of the DNA also bases and we have to take them into account and we probably have to add this probability with this probability that we will find the same sequence on the other strand of the DNA. Take a look. Here is a 5 prime end. Here is a 3 prime end. And on the corresponding strand of the DNA we are going to have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. Now take a look. Adenine base pairs with thymine, guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, guanine with cytosine, and cytosine with guanine, and thymine with adenine. Now take a look. 5 prime end TC, and here we have 5 prime end TC, then GC, and here GC, and GA here, and GA here. So the sequence on the other strand of the DNA is going to be the same as on this strand of the DNA. If uh, this enzyme would attach to the sequence and would cut it, it can, the cut can be inside the sequence or outside. It doesn't matter. This is going to be the same locus on the double-stranded DNA because we say that this is going to be a palindromic sequence, which we can read in the same direction. T, C, G, C, G, A, 5 prime and 2, 3 prime end, and here T, C, G, C, G, A. Uh, this is what we in genetics call palindromic sequence, not the sequence which we read back and forth the same on the same strand of the DNA, but instead on the two strands of the DNA, but it's going to be the same sequence. So we don't have to combine these two probabilities. And this is going to be our answer. So this restriction enzyme would cut double-stranded DNA every 4096 bases, but this is rough estimation. This is not exact number. This is just average. And we will get average fragment that consists of 4096 bases. If the sequence is palindromic, if sequence is not palindromic, then uh, non-palindromic sequence would occur at different places 
on one strand of the DNA and other strand of the DNA. So we will have to as many cuts of the double stranded DNA. So we have to add such probabilities, for example, one over 4096 plus one over 4096 would give us probability or length of the fragment 2048 bases. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.